Hey, what's up? Uh, this is Cynthia. She's the hardest champion in any Pokemon game ever. Not even just champion, the hardest trainer. And we're gonna try and beat her, but not just beat her like normal. Nope, this is gonna be much more difficult. This is a Nuzlocke. I can only catch the first Pokemon that I see per route. I have to nickname every Pokemon, so I get all attached to them. And if one of my Pokemon dies, that's it. It's dead, it literally dies, I can never use it again. And I have to deal with the fact that Garlic the Metatite's family is still waiting for him to come home. <laughs> I laughed. <laughs> And you know what else? No potions. That's right, no sitting around spamming potions waiting for Cynthia's Garchomp to miss an attack. Nope, potions don't work. So, yeah, wish me luck. This is the story of a man and his turtle, and his attempt to become the champion. And hey, consider subscribing if you haven't yet, and enjoy the video. It's quite a ride. Time to pick our starter. Turtwig, Chimchar, Piplup. And I'll be honest, I didn't really like Turtwig. I, people mad at me for what I said about Turtwig. I called him a nerd. And I'm sorry for calling him a nerd, all right? I'm coming around to Turtwig. As always, I leave my starter choice up to my stream viewers, aka chat, and while it was very close, Turtwig was the winner. Oh my God, he's actually, look at his eyes, his eyes move! <gasps> I didn't know his eyes worked like that. Look at him! Oh no, he's so cute! I've fully changed my mind on Twirtwig, I'm so sorry. Our new turtle friend made short work of the Starly, and Professor Rowan let us keep it. Everyone, meet Turtle. Okay. Lucas gave us our first Pokeballs ever, and finally, the Nuzlocke begins. And our first encounter is... Starly, Starly, Starly! A Bidoof. Everybody, meet Touch the Bidoof. At Lake Verity, we called Starlight the Starly, and moved on to Route 202, where we caught a Shinx. We named him Storm, and then Turtle took on the first trainer of the Nuzlocke. What I'm not used to is slow Pokemon. Oh my god, look at his tail! His tail is so cute! Okay, new rule. Every time Turtle is on screen, comment Turtle Smile. Let's see how many Turtle comments we can get. We caught ourselves Rhyme the Boodoo, then ran back home to fish up the best Nuzlocke Pokemon of all time. Yeah, well, not Magic Up. Gyarados is the best Nuzlocke Pokemon, and is basically built to beat Cynthia in this game. Let's go, Wave Dash. I'm sure we'll definitely see you in the champion battle. Yep, that's not foreshadowing. Barry got in the way while we were heading to the gym, and for some reason, he never taught his Chimchar a fire move, so we just beat him up with Starlight. We caught Marceline the Zubat, Pebbles the Geodude, then took on the first gym. I use a level cap in my Nuzlocke which means our Pokemon can't be any higher level than the next gym leader. So our max level was level 14 for Rock, which literally didn't matter because Turtle just beat everyone in one hit. Starlight decided to evolve after Turtle's show of dominance. Then we ran into Babe on the way to the next gym, who gave us ball capsules. One of my favorite inclusions to a Pokemon game ever, which of course they never bring back. Oh, that was quite wholesome. Anyway, the game decided to give us a freaking Manaphy egg, which I actually kind of considered using because they're not just going to hand out legendaries, right? Wait, you don't even- nothing even happens? You just get a Mew? Well, that's insane. Anyway, they wouldn't give away any more extremely rare legendaries, right? All right, that's a Jirachi. We're not using those. Storm evolved into a Luxio. Turtle evolved into this thing. And then it was time to take on the Nuzlocke Ender. This is Mars. She kills Pokemon and ends Nuzlocke with her way overpowered Perugly. She led with the Zubat, but Storm thundershocked it to death. Then out came the Perugly. We used Pluck a few times, stole its lunch berries, and that was, that was kind of underwhelming, actually. So we've unlocked new encounters, including a potential Lopunny just saying. All right, hear me out. That's not what it sounds like. Lopunny is actually a ridiculously fast and strong Pokemon, and it has a godlike mega evolution. Obviously, there's going to be mega evolutions in this game, right? So let's go find one. We caught Puffcake, the pink shellless on the next route, touched the Bidoof evolved, then we had up to the forest to get a Buneary. We ran into a fighter girl accidentally and, uh, oh my god. All right, chill, dude. Oh my god, be the main character of my anime. Let's go, dude. Let's absolutely go. Okay, enough of that. As you know, Nuzlocke rules means you can only catch the first Pokemon you encounter per route. Let's do it. Come on, double battle, dude. We're going in any second. We might get a Buneary, might get a, might get a Silcoon, never know. We have got... We'll find out in a second. Something tells me this grass patch isn't good. I'm gonna try this grass patch. This is the one I usually go in. So we're gonna go in this, this one. Oh, the double Boniru, let's go. All right, what are the odds of that? Holy shit. Two of them. Now we're talking, now you're speaking my language. We'll find out in a second. We finally ran into our encounter, which was two Buneeries. We randomly decided which one should die, and uh, it was the boy one. That was the boy one that uh, ra was randomized to die. So we caught the girl. Yes! Okay, chill. All right, we got a Buneary. I'll take that. I'll take it. First try, too. Wow. I called mine Kicks. Do we call it Kicks and get the name that OG Moxie playing by himself? Not like that would call it. The memers want to name it Waifu so they can make fun of me. The gamers want to name it Kicks because they know that Lop Honey is a good Pokemon to use in battle. It's 50-50! We did a lightning round second vote and Kicks won. But I accidentally wrote the wrong name in the thing. 
Yeah. Welcome to the team, Wifer. If Beniri slash La Punny dies, you cosplay as Mox Punny. Bet? Because it won't die. If my La Punny dies in this Nuzlocke, I will cosplay as Lopani. What do I get? All right, go follow me on Twitch, which is where I do all these live streams. Comment bet if you do it, and then I'll do it. We helped Cheryl through the forest with our new team member, set our farewells, and headed off to the second gym. Oh, oh, hi. Shit. Oh my god. My queen. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Oh, I have a, I have a Mew and a Jirachi. You want to see my Mew? I got a Mew. It's pink. All right, I'll see ya. The game's actually really pretty. It is. It's missing a bit of saturation, a bit of contrast. Wait a minute. Contrast, increase. Saturation, increase. All right, boys. We fixed Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Chat then reminded me about the underground. You can actually go underground in this game and encounter tons of weird Pokemon literally just like standing around down there. We smashed up the walls for some nostalgic fun for a bit then ran into a cave. What the hell? There's a Houndoom here. No way we got it, what the crap? We caught it in a great ball and it was time to absolutely destroy the grass gym. There is no way we lose anyone. Marceline the bat was basically untouchable and destroyed every trainer before the gym leader. I'm so happy to be using the Zubat. Crobat is purple. We're gonna get some color in the team. Gardenia leads with a Cherim and we lead with Starlight the Staravia. Starlight one shot the Cherim and out comes a Turtwig. It used Reflect and suddenly I began to overthink. Instead of just letting Gardenia heal her Turtwig and continuing to block it, I switched to Turtle and nearly lost a 1v1 versus a Turtwig who decided to use Woke Up a bunch of times. But we got there eventually with the help of Marceline the Bat. But then out comes a freaking Roserade. This thing is stupidly powerful and we have nothing fully evolved. It hit Marceline with a Petal Blizzard, which like what the hell is that move? And then we missed a Super Sonic. I can't use potions. We're not allowed to use potions. We were forced to let Marceline die. After destroying all the gym trainers by herself, but her sacrifice got us through. Starlight plucked the Rose Ray to death and we were through an unexpectedly tough second gym. Everyone, pour one out in the chat. RIP, Marceline. I love your character in Adventure Time. Farewell. Well, good news, Wave Dash evolved. Time to test out the new team on Jupiter. Oh yeah, hello, chill, chill, that's Jupiter. Cerberus, our Houndoom, Thunder fanged the Zubat to death, and then she sent out a Skunk Tank, which is another threat, but honestly, our team is insane now. It for some reason knows Flamethrower, but Cerberus eats that up and finished it off with a bunch of Thunder Fangs. Next up is Hard Home City, where the greatest thing ever happens. Uh, but first... Oh my god! Wave Dash, our Gyarados, learned Waterfall at level 21. New routes are opening up, so we grabbed Sunshine with the Ponyta, then ran into Cyrus the Blue Hair Guy. Oh, it's our man! Why does he look like that? Anyway, we finally made it to Hard Home, then ran up to Amity Square. Which Pokemon would you like to take a stroll with? Oh, shoot. Yo, just like that, though. Yo, Turtle's over there. What? Turtle's going to talk to the Pikachu. No, he's not. Oh, my God, this is freaking great. Look how cute he be jumping. Look, they're friends. Oh, I love this. He's actually so slow. He's such a turtle, dude. He's trying his hardest, dude. He's just doing his best, man. I figured I'd check out how some of the bigger Pokemon look. What is this? It's a shrimp. This is unacceptable. Look at this dude. Anyway, then we ran into Barry. Apparently this game literally treats you like you're four years old because Barry has not evolved his Starly yet and it's like level 19. He evolved his starter at least, but Wave Dash made short work of that and Starlight plucked his Rosalie to death. On to the next town. We ran into Geodes like five routes in a row. So we decided we're allowed to catch one Pokemon per area underground because this is stupid. For now though, Veilstone City. Shopping. No more Game Corner. Honestly, this is better. Clothes is way better than Game Corner. Pikachu hoodie, hoodie style, pretty sick. Not bad. The overall. Not bad, not bad. Eevee style, pretty sick. Gengar, it's the same, but as a pink jacket. Cyber, oh my god. Sword and Shieldsy or whatever, I guess. The side pony, damn. I got the, I don't have the money for anything. I kind of want the overalls, I'll be honest. We ran into Lucas on the way to the gym. Dude, you, your hat does not fit your head. Try a different hat. We decided to go find a Ralts, which is only supposed to appear like 5% of the time, but worth a shot, right? Oh, that was easy. If it's a boy, we get a Gallade, all right? It is a... Boy, it's Gallade time, let's go. I always called my childhood Gallade Destiny. I know, cringe. So we decided to call him Destiny. He was adamant natured back in the day. And would you believe it? Oh my God, what the hell are the odds? It's my Gallade, he's here. However, I decided not to use it because this gave me another video idea. So pretend we never caught him. He'll be in a different video. Subscribe if you want to see it. There he is, dude, look. Destiny, the Gallade, my original Gallade. Time for the third gym. We cleared out some of the trainers and Baneri leveled up, but <sighs> unfortunately, she still hates us. <laughs> Queen! Oh damn, she's hot. Bruh, 
Everyone calm down. Chat, stop this. The thickening is upon us. Nah, all right. We're not. Let's just a lot honey, guys. Okay. Stop this. A sickness of thickness. <laughs> she thick. Bruh, this is my Pokemon you guys are talking about, right? Wait, she jumping. And she keeps up? Yo, hi. You thick. So, oh, shit. Calm down, you furry loving goldfish. Bruh! No offense. It's just a good Pokemon. Allow me to show you guys how powerful this Pokemon is. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We cannot be in the way of our queen. What the crap? Not. Oh, Jesus Christ. We gotta get out of the way of these thick thighs. Stop it, dude. Damn. Dude, no, stop this. She's off the screen, all right? We finished up the puzzle for children and challenged Maylene. Maylene led with a Metatite and we led with Starlight. Starlight one-shot the Metatite with Pluck and a Machoke came out next. Turtle two shot the Machoke with a few Razor Leafs. Then out came a Mega Threat, Lucario. This thing ends Nuzlocke. We go for Bulldoze to slow it down as it bulks up. We were suddenly in a kind of bad spot. However, I taught Wave Dash one of my favorite moves, Fire Blast. He hits! Come on, one shot. Huge! Oh my god, the damage! Gyarados is busted! We taught Drain Punch to Waifu, because of course we did, and we used our Heart Scales to get Ice Fang on Wave Dash. This is for Cynthia's Garchomp. All right, fourth gym, halfway. This is a water gym, so it was time for Storm the Luxio to do some damage. He ended some kid's career inside the gym, and chat started asking questions. How many do, how many gifted do I have to give for you to get a Lop Honey Waifu pillow? He probably has one. Shut up, dude. I do not have one. I don't have one. I figured I'd look them up just for research. So you guys will be happy to know there are no Lop Honey body pillows. There's just none. They don't exist. But you know what there is? You know what there is of, lop of body pillows, dude? Giratina. <laughs> there absolutely is a Lopani body pillow cover. Well, I couldn't find them, so if you've somehow found them, send them to me on my Twitter at Moxie2D for research. We randomly ran into a wild weasel, which we caught, and called Floaty, and then Storm evolved into a Luxray. It is so over for this guy. Crush Awake, the gym leader, leads with a freaking Gyarados, but Storm literally one-shots it with Thunderbolt, and out comes a Quagsire, which is immune to electric moves. Turtle comes in, eats up a mud shot, and one-shots the Quagsire with a Razor Leaf. But then Wake sends out a Floatzel. So we send in our Gyarados and eat up an Ice Fang that would have been really bad for Turtle. Turtle is four times weak to Ice moves. We cannot let him get hit by an Ice move ever. Wave Dash finishes it off with a few crunches, and we're through another gym with no deaths. Things are looking very good. Little did I know what was coming. Ghost Gym next. On the way, our Sada finally ascends. Oh, sheesh. See, I did it there. I said sheesh instead of shit. Oh, big tree boy. Tutel. What? <laughs> Hello? Turtle is learning Earthquake. He's still trying his hardest. He's so slow. Then Barry appears with his still unevolved Pokemon. Storm, Serbs, and Wave Dash absolutely end his career. Then we go to find Cynthia. Turtle, come on, dude. What are you doing? Why are you being like this? I want to find some thick Gardevoir? Don't worry about it. Dude, Lopani's way better. Look at that. Oh. You guys need to remind me that I'm streaming. All right, everyone at calm. Oh, hey. What are you doing here? Sorry to change the subject, but have you seen the group of Psyduck on Route 210? Actually, I have, yeah. How about we go there together? Anyway, what you should do is use this medicine on the Psyduck. Me or us? See you later. We'll just meet her there with our lop honey. What the crap. We fly to Salacion on Starlight, who is a Staraptor for a second, and head up to meet Cynthia and the Psyducks. I wanted to deliver this old charm to my grandma in Celestic Town. We're meeting the family. Let's go. Step on me. Let's go. You're going the wrong way, Cynthia. Cynthia, you're going the wrong way. Alright, we'll see you there. Up to Celestic Town we go. Just as we were right around the corner from the next town, Waifu got a little crazy. Yeah. I'm just trying to get the Pokeball, dude. Don't get snaggled up with me. What are you talking about? This is not the time. This is not the time. He's trying to push you? Holy shit! Top 10 anime betrayals, dude. She's either flirting or trying to kill us. What is it? What is this? Chill. I'm just trying to get this item, all right? Just stay there. Okay. All right. Just move on forward. Okay. This is okay. Jesus Christ. Oh, we finally made it to Celestic Town. We met Cynthia's grandma, but Cynthia never showed up. I guess she was, she was busy. She gives us surf. Then we head outside. And uh, this guy looks absolutely crazy. Fifth gym. Question. What is three plus five plus seven? What is this shit? Three plus five is eight, plus seven is 16. Let's go. Puzzle mastered, gamer. Eight plus seven equals 15. Easy gamers, destroyed. More mathematics, huh? Easy for me, not a problem. What is 12 plus 28? 40. Obviously, dude. Okay. Obviously 40. Question. What is 3 times 13? Times tables? The 1 becomes a 3. Then you times the 3 by the 3, which is 39. Got him. 
How is that not 39? Wrong door. This game. And they're throwing a child at me with a drift bloom. You've been kidnapped. I don't know if you're aware of this, you stupid child. Math is for kids. Question, what was the first room's answer? I went to the right door first and that was wrong. So top is correct. She's so proud. Let's just fight the gym later. She led with a Drift Blim and we led with Cerberus. I was tempted to taunt it so it couldn't burn us or something, but we just went for straight up damage with Bite. It survived and then used an absolutely stupid move. Strength Sap. Basically, Strength Sap reduces your attack stat, making you weaker, then heals the Pokemon by how much strength you had. We go for the taunt now when we could have just killed it and it goes for Fly. So we go into Storm to resist the flying type move and Storm kills it with a Volt Switch. Then we bring Serbs back out and out comes a Gengar. And it decides to be super annoying. Confuse Ray. We break through and hit a bite, but the Gengar is holding a berry that reduces dark damage. I'm not liking the tactics in this gym so far. Sludge Bomb, do we resist that? Oh my god! No! No! No, don't hit yourself! Please hit, please hit, please hit! No! 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 Serbs dies to a combination of confusion and poison. This is so bad. We had to go into wave dash to hopefully eat up an attack. Sludge bomb hits doing over half, but not poisoning, and we crunch for the KO. But things just got worse. A level 36, Miss Magius. This thing definitely learns Thunderbolt, and Gyarados is super dead to that. We switch to Turtle, and instead, it uses Confuse Ray. We eat a Dazzling Gleam, which might actually be the strongest move it has for some reason. So we take the risk with our newly evolved Staraptor. Pluck does half, so one more pluck, and we win. But if we hit ourselves in Confusion, we're screwed. Come on, dude. There's a Dazzling Gleam. Live, break through, dude, break through, break through. No! 17 HP. Someone dies here 100%. I'm not losing Lopani now, it's too strong. So we took it to a vote. It's Storm the Luxray or Starlight the Staraptor. Chad voted Starlight. And the amount of regret I felt after I clicked that button. Wave Dash finally breaks through confusion and hits a crunch, but we lost two really important team members. We walked back out the way we came in, only to be greeted by Cynthia on the way out. Thanks for what you did by the ruins. You may want to visit the library in Canalave City. They have some ancient books there. Sure. I love reading. Don't you love reading, Cynthia? I, I just love reading. Do you agree? Well, time to say goodbye. Our dog! Cerberus, we found you at level 20, fully evolved, caught in the first ball, and now you are dead. Farewell. And Starlight, this is what I get for saying I don't like the color of my team. 20 minutes ago, I said we have too much gray in the team, and what happened? We lost two of them. Probably the coolest bird Pokemon? Sacrificed. Storm better pull through, dude. Sunshim with a Ponyta joined the party as our new fire type, and Chad decided that seeing as though we're saving our routes for a different video, we were allowed to go try and get a different one. So we headed over to Canalave City. Oh my god, we're on a little bit barrel! Look, look, look! Oh my god, the water looks amazing! We made it to Canalave, healed up, and went back underground to get ourselves a Gardevoir. Oh ho ho! That was easy! It is. It's dupes. Dupes claws. Gardevoir can be male. You mean Gallade. Gallade can be male. I understand. You're saying Ralts can be a male. I know that. And so can Curlia. But then a male goes into a Gallade with a Dawnstone and a girl goes into a Moxie Bestie. Look it up. I don't need to look it up. I am 100% correct, okay? Yes! We ran into 13 male Ralts in a row. Revenge on hating on male Gardevoir? I love Gallade. What are you talking about? I love Gallade. Gallade is one of my favorite Pokemon. I'm not hating on male Gardevoir. Male Gardevoir does exist. I know. It's a Gallade. I understand this. This joke's getting older than a fossil Pokemon. Well, if we just found a Ralts right now like we just did, which is finally a girl, we can move on and beat the game. Finally! Oh my god! Yo, dude, chat right now. <laughs> Farewell, Pebbles. Got her. My childhood Gardevoirs were named Fate. I think that's fair. First encounter too. Isn't that crazy? Look at that team though. Colorful dude. Colorful team. We then nearly lost the whole Nuzlocke to a singular Krogonk underground. So we tried again. We found a slightly less murderous Krogonk. Called it Cringe because that's hilarious. Evolved it into a Toxicroak and entered the sixth gym. Why is Cringe anticipating? Why is he cringing? Cringe is cringing. Anyway, we made it to the gym leader just fine. Sixth gym leader time. Byron led with a Bronzor. Storm dodges a Confuse Ray, then bites the Bronzor to death. Out comes a Steelix, which Gyarados can beat no problem. We Fire Blast it in the face, but it lives and then goes for something super unexpected. Thunderfang? No! 
That was a four times super effective move that Wave Dash absolutely consumed. With Waterfall, killing the Steelix and out comes a serious threat, Bastiodon. This Pokemon has the number one most bullshit move ever. Metal Burst. Metal Burst- Oh, never mind, it doesn't even have that move. Wave Dash just kills it with Waterfall. Six badges is ours. Sun Shimmer evolved into a Rapid Ash and learned Smart Strike, which is gonna come in handy later, you'll see. I noticed my badges weren't exactly looking super nice, so I figured it was finally time to shine them. Much better. Fate evolved into a Curlia, then we met Riley, who helped us destroy some Team Rocket nerds. Let's bully Moxie, you can't- I I'm, I'm invincible. Yeah, I'll do your worst. I'm not a fair- how is it that the first thing now that comes up when someone says something about me is furry? Short King? One, not a furry, all right? I draw way more anime, anime girls than furries, all right? Two, I'm not short. I'm over six foot, okay? I'm doing a battle here. Everyone shut up. Short Furry King? Nah, we're not making this a thing, dude. SFK? Bro, uh, comments better not be full of this crap. I am perfectly reasonable height of six foot one. Tall Furry King. No, 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 wait, not no, no, wait. Get rid of the furry, just tall king. Not a tall fairy. Oh look, Curly is evolving. Dude, chat, dude. Come on, dude. Look at this is this is my chat. Dude, this is my chat. Ain't no hips on that thing. That is not thick. You're all insane. Floaty evolved into a float tool. Then we headed up to Mount Coronet and ran into a wild Jaden. I mean Cleffa. But we weren't allowed to use it. Snowpoint City was in sight, which means second last gym. So we decided real quick to go to the daycare center to have an old lady look after our Pokemon. Yep, that's definitely what we're doing. Mm -hmm. We randomly decided to put Machop in a battle box, put our Chingling in the daycare center, move some boxes around weirdly, and, uh, and yeah. Oh! What the hell is that?! We should put a Pokemon in here. Pringles man, I'll see you later, buddy. <laughs> he's a okay, he's actually gone. Pringles man, bound to dice to some bullshit. I reckon Waifu will be fine. See? Just fine. Built different. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we... Have two waifus. <laughs> it worked! I mean, what? What just happened? That was so weird. I'm just gonna put this one over here. Hang on. Beach. I think she likes the beach. Cool. Uh, gym time. We slide down the ice and usually you can't walk diagonal in this. <laughs> That's easily the hardest puzzle ever. I get stuck in here every time, dude. Candice led with Snova, which is nothing for Sun Shimmer. Flamethrower, one shot. Gyarados waterfalls the Sneasel and out comes a... Metacham, which is not an ice type Pokemon at all. It used bulk up, but a waterfall did half anyway. Confident the next waterfall would kill, we go for it. Oh my god, rock slide boosted! No! What? That's literally the best Pokemon in the game. Rapid Ash finishes the gym with some flamethrowers, but the damage was already done. Damn, she's just smiling and clapping and we lost our best Pokemon. Unbelievable. I didn't expect to lose anyone today. I'll be very honest. Wave Dash. My childhood Gyarados. The Pokemon who's supposed to carry you through this game. You're supposed to use a Gyarados with Ice Fang against Cynthia and sweep. Not this run. We're gonna have to find a different way. Our next level cap was level 49, so we had some room to grow. But it's gonna be very hard to fill the space left behind by Wave Dash. Damn. <sighs> we have a team to rebuild. I duplicated a bunch of Lopunnies to get heart scales. I mean, I went underground to get heart scales. I just lost the footage for that. We taught Floaty Crunch and Ice Fang. Sun Shimmer learned Poison Jab. We taught Cringe, Sucker Punch, and Drain Punch. And Storm learned... Nothing. Why is Luxray so not very good, dude? We debated teaching Turtle Woodhammer, but Woodhammer does damage to you, and this is a Nuzlocke, so that's not the greatest thing ever. But then I remembered. We have TMs. We decided to go with Bullet Seed. However, there's only one of those TMs in the game, and I don't like using items that I only have one of. I will literally keep that TM until the day I die. And so, with the help of Missing No, we sacrificed Rhyme the Voodoo, duplicated Turtle while it was holding a Bullet Seed TM, and now we have two Bullet Seed TMs. The cheat lock continues. It's not cheating. It's part of the game. If you guys think that's cheating, then you guys better not play Super Smash Brothers Melee or, or you probably don't play Super Smash Brothers Melee, all right? Step it up, gamers. We found Team Rocket's hideout, destroyed them all with our Thunderbolting Lopunny, then we ran into Cyrus.
Is he kind of hot when he's bigger? Not hot, but like, is he, he looks better, right? He didn't look so bad. He kind of looked all right. Waifu swept his whole team of Murkrow, Dolbat, and Sneasel, which was ridiculously underwhelming. So he gave us a Master Ball. We freed the legendaries that he apparently stole at some point and went to go see Palkia. On the way, Floaty learned Waterfall. And with this moveset was really starting to look like the perfect success at a Wave Dash. Finally, we made it. Cyrus started getting a little crazy. Oh, sick. Oh, sick. Oh, this looks amazing. We have Blur. Okay, this is what I came for. This is a remake we came for. Dude, check this out. What the hell? This looks kind of sick though. Oh, shoosh, look at him, he's huge. This is the mythical Pokemon that created Sinnoh. Legendary, just a legendary. Sorry, I don't know. If you're gonna spiel like this, you should get the definition right. It's actually, it's a legendary. The little Muse appeared and broke the chain that Cyrus spent like this whole game trying to make and apparently pissed him the f off. <laughs> oh my God, he's so mad. Don't get this close to me, dude. Yeah, we pissed him off. Let's go. We led with Fate and he led with a Honchkrow. Fate moonblasted the crap out of Honchkrow. Waifu learned bounce because of course she did. Then a Crowback came out. He used Tailwind, speeding up its team, but Fate one-shot it with Psychic. Then out came his own Gyarados. I have the Thunderbolt. Four times super effective. The Gyarados is just gonna hit us with something big. Oh my God. Full damage waterfall. Oh! Ate it, ate it. Come on, one shot. Berry! The berry halved the damage Thunderbolt was supposed to do. And with that Tailwind up, this Gyarados is still faster than anything on my team. Someone's taking a waterfall to the face right now. Turtles Park ground time. So we don't really have a proper Pokemon to resist water. Floaty's defenses are so bad. Turtle is four times weak to ice though. This Gyarados probably has Ice Fang. So we went with Floaty. She lived a waterfall surprisingly well and we went for Crunch. Earthquake! Non-stab, 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 non-stab! She lived! Floaty lived. Crunch did okay damage. Then the Tailwind ran out. Floaty has to be faster now and needs to kill with Crunch. But based on the last hit, it doesn't look strong enough. However, we just happen to have the Metronome item on Floaty, which increases the damage of a move the more times you use it in a row. Is that how we win this? Kill, kill, kill. Metronome boosted Crunch. Ah! His last Pokemon was Weavile, but luckily it didn't have an ice move for some reason, and Turtle killed it with Earthquake. This game's actually starting to get difficult. Little did I know what was coming. Cyrus left, so it was just us and Palkia. No cutscene or anything, just straight into it? Oh my god! Holy shit! Use the Master Ball. But I want to keep it so I can duplicate it. Crunch won't kill. Turtle! Turtle! Turtle, dude! It landed crit wanting to be praised! Turtle! He leveled up! Turtle, that's not cool, man. Guys, I can't reset. It's a Nuzlocke. What do I do now? Do I just leave? Yep, time for the final gym. We finally made it to Sunny Shore. Ran into Ronald McDonald from McDonald's, who asked us to cheer up the depressed electric type gym leader. Speaking of curing depression. Oh, shush, it's Jasmine. Hi. Oh my god, her eyes look amazing. We caught a tentacle on the beach called Hamburger. Sky Dragon from chat drew me some Lopani Cynthia fan art, then accidentally ran into a trainer. Bruh, chat. Dude, seriously? It's a woman, dude. This is, have you ever been to the beach? This is just a woman in a bikini. Have you not been on the front page of twitch.tv, dude? All right, we gotta go help the depressed guy. And the best way to not be depressed is to look at Gardevoir. We showed the gym leader our Gardevoir and he accepted our gym challenge. This is the final gym. We're coming up to the end of the game. I refuse to lose here. Bogner sent out a Raichu, which is totally fine for us. We had Turtle as our lead and Earthquake's definitely a one shot. Turtle took a surfing Raichu to the face and then went for Earthquake. This time the Raichu ate a weird berry, weakening Earthquake's damage and allowing the Raichu to live. We switched to Fate as he healed, expecting another surf. Instead, the Raichu Volt switches on us and brings out an Ambipom. What kind of electric Pokemon is this? We were able to kill it with a few Psychics as it used Thunderbolt on us for some reason. And out comes an Octillery, another very electric type Pokemon. We stayed in and used Thunderbolt, which it somehow lives and Octazookas us, lowering our accuracy and making us miss Moonblast. We hit a second one luckily and out comes a Raichu again. We go to Turtle expecting another Volt switch and go for an Earthquake. A critical hit surf could kill Turtle right here, but he dodges it. Oh, Turtle, you absolutely Absolute legend, best starter ever. Except for Greg. Luxray is the final Pokemon and I am scared of the Ice Fang. I refuse to let Turtle get one shot by an Ice Move. So we switch to Sun Shimmer. A few flamethrowers end the battle and the final gym badge is ours. Half of these Pokemon weren't electric types. It's time for the Elite Four. Jasmine gave us some Waterfall TMs. So we Waterfall up to Victory Road on Touch the Badoof, who I'm pretty sure is dead. And of course, Victory Road was just full of a bunch of Geodudes. So I grinded up the team to level 60 and we we're ready to head through. Gosh. <laughs>
Um, stream wasn't supposed to see that. The very first trainer had an Alakazam and a Gengar. So we decided straight away we're fighting as few trainers as physically possible. After a kind of scary Machamp and Gyarados, we made it through. Oh, waifu. We made it. Waifu's very relaxed. Oh my god, I'm scared. It's setting in. It's setting in. It's setting in. It's setting in. Love honey, what are you, what's up? Oh, waifu's holding on to something. No, chat. No. No. It's just a present. A berry! She gave us a berry, dude! Your Pokemon are so calm, even though they're going up against the Elite Four. I'm freaking out here. My Pokemon don't give a shit. We had one final battle before the Elite Four. Barry. He led with the Staraptor, and I'm so proud of him. He finally evolved his Starly. But Waifu basically destroyed his whole team. She's so good! Now, before we do the Elite Four, there's one thing we have to do for Waifu. This is the contest hall. We have to do a very quick contest to prove that Waifu is the most beautiful Pokemon. <laughs> I hate myself. Let's do this. We selected Bounce as her move and then we're offered an outfit. That's a lot, dude. Are we a magical girl out here? Oh my God, I'm so overdressed, dude. I'm way overdressed. I'm so overdressed, dude. Oh, it's, a, it's, it's Osu. I'm playing Guitar Hero. I'm godlike at these games. Oh my God, what's she doing? What's she doing? Oh, let's go though, what? Oh, Holden, Holden. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. I'm godlike, dude. Easily won that, dude. Easily won that. What happened? Did I get third? Did she win? We look forward to your participation another time. I have an effort ribbon. I didn't get the beauty ribbon. Whatever. We did it, all right? We won. I dressed up for that. God damn it. Right, I'm going to fight Cynthia. Screw this. From memory, the first dude is a bug type user. So we're going to just go nuts with Sun Shimmer. Let's go. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I'm Aaron of the Elite Four. It's good to meet you. I should explain. I'm a huge fan of bug Pokemon. Luckily, I have a Rapidash. You're done for. Okay, let me take you on. Let's go. First battle. Aaron led with a Dustox, which we were faster than and easily killed with a Flamethrower. Got him. What? We have the Metronome, so each time we do Flamethrower, it's going to do more damage. So I'm just going to keep doing it. Sun Shimmer killed the Dustox and out came a Heracross, which was one shot by Flamethrower. And then a Beauty Fly came out. Flamethrower, one shot. Vespi Queen, one shot. Then out came a Drapion, which isn't a bug type and isn't weak to fire. But we didn't have many good switches. Come on, come on, come on, come on. One shot, one shot, one shot. No way. No. It has no earthquake. We dodged it. Power Friendship. This game is busted. One more Flamethrower ends the battle and we're on to the next fight. Next up, Bertha. From memory, she uses a Whisk Cash. So I'm going with Turtle. She led with a Quagsire, which isn't a Wish Cash, but whatever, it's same, same, same thing. Turtle Giga Drains and yep, one shot. Wish Cash comes out next and eats a berry before getting Giga Drained and it lives, but dies to a crunch next turn. Pseudo Wudo is next. Bro, this is, this, this is the Elite Four. You're throwing Pseudo Wudos at us? Earthquakes are one shot, then a Golem comes out, but it dies to a few Giga Drains. The starter sweeps. I'm so glad we picked him. Crit wishing to be praised. Praise him. Golem down. And out comes a Poudon. We're running low on Giga Drains, but I'll do it anyway. Whoa, Ice Fang four times super effective. I refuse to let Turbo get one shot four by times super effective. It's only weakness. Oh my god, he lived. Turtle Giga drained back, somehow didn't kill, so we go to Floaty to finish it off with Waterfall. Floaty putting in the work! Two down. Next up, the fire guy. Let's go. Ronald McDonald led with his own Rapidash, and we led with Floaty. We went for the Waterfall, certain we were faster. Hypnosis? Come on, what? It hit! Floaty fell asleep, and Rapidash went for a poison jab, and then another one as Floaty woke up. Woke up! One shot, come on! Yes! Okay. Oh, she's so good. Next came out a freaking Steelix. In what universe is that a 
fire type. I just knew this one would have Thunder Fang. So we went to Turtle and Giga Drain. It didn't even do half and smashed Turtle with an Iron Tail. Whoa! We should use Earthquake. This is a Steelix. Do you guys not know this thing's defenses, dude? Whoa, that's a crit. Praise him. Ronald healed the Steelix, so we tried the Earthquake. Um, okay. You guys were right. Earthquake was stronger. It was a crit. It was a crit. We'll never know. Praise him. Praise him, dude. Steelix down. And out comes a lop on it. How dare you. This also is not a fire type. I'll have you know. Nope, but she's pretty f***ing hot though. That was just a joke for the video. I don't actually think that. It was just a joke. It was just a joke. Fire punch. Ate it up. Turtle went for the earthquake and the Lopani went down. Next up, a drift blimp. This thing again. This is the most annoying and, and dishonorable Pokemon I've ever seen in an official Pokemon game ever. Watch this. Minimize. No. No. Cringe. Cringe. Drift Blim is now way harder to hit. We somehow land a crunch, but then it goes for Will-O-Wisp and burns Turtle, cutting his attack stat in half. We can't fight like this. Sun Shimmer has the move Smart Strike, which can't miss, and she's a fire type, so she can't be burned. She was our shot. Crunch missed, so we switched as it minimized again. We went for Smart Strike as it went for Baton Pass. Ha! Huh? Nah, this is bullshit. You're gonna- this is the Infernape, isn't it? Yep. The Drift Blim just passed its three minimizers onto an Infernape. This is so, so bad. And Smart Strike did nothing. It's gonna close combat. We might live one. Close combat. Dodge it! The power of friendship. This game is so broken. Sun Shimmer hit another Smart Strike, but we are not doing much damage. Come on, live, 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 live. Nice. Every time it uses close combat, its defenses are lowered too. Another Smart Strike hits pretty hard. We switch to Gardevoir to take the next close combat, which she four times resists. Then it goes for a Fire Punch. Oh my God. Fate wishes so we can heal on the next turn. But then my brain activated a little bit. Rapidash's Flash Fire ability makes fire moves do no damage. And the wish heals her back up a lot. If we can live one more close combat, we can get off another Smart Strike. Close combat, live. Live, 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 live! She lives it! Defense is lowered again. Just kill. Oh my god, so close. Huge move right now. The cringe sucker punch. We need this sucker punch to hit through three minimizers. Or we lose right now. Hit, 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 hit. He hit! Legend! Die! Yes! Oh my god. Actually unbelievable. The Drift Blim came back out, burned Cringe, and minimized again. It then used Strength Sap. Strength Sap. Minimize, Baton Pass, Will-O-Wisp. It has no attacking moves. Considering it can't hit us, we just have to go back into Rapidash and kill it with Smart Strike, which can't miss. Oh my god. Oh, the critical hit, praise. Praise her. After the most mentally draining Pokemon battle I've ever done in my whole life, we were on to the final member of the Elite Four. Lucian. Lucian led with Mr. Mime and we led with Fate the Gardevoir. We used Shadow Ball, which didn't do much because of its filter ability, but then it Light Screen, making special attacks do even less. So we Moonblasted for a bit of damage as a Dazzling Gleamed. Knowing it's a fairy type, I went looking for Pokemon with moves that could beat fairy types. I said that Cringe, totally forgetting that Mr. Mime is a psychic type and that Cringe is four times weak to that. To be honest, I think my mental was starting to crack a bit after that last fight. Okay, live, 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 live. Ate it up. Ate that up, dude. Ate it up. If I were to ask you if Mr. Mime looked like a fast Pokemon, how would you answer? I would answer, no, it looks very slow. Toxicroak, yeah, that looks quite fast. Well, you're not gonna believe what happens here. We go for Poison Jam. No! Why is it faster? How? Cringe's death was completely avoidable. Sun Shimmer comes out for revenge. We poison jab the Mr. Mime and it just straight up dies. If we just did that before, Cringe would still be alive. He sends out a Metacham. Last time we saw one of these, we lost our best Pokemon. It's gonna rock slide. I'm gonna flamethrower and maybe get the burn. Flamethrower hits and does surprisingly little damage, and the Metacham goes for a high jump kick. High jump kick, it missed! Sun Shimmer dodges cause love, and the Metacham takes 50% of its HP. It heals and we go for the flame charge, which basically does the same amount of damage. Knowing the high jump kick was coming, we had to switch out here or Sun Shimmer was gonna die. Fate four times resist fighting moves, but they have the same speed stat, and we can't risk losing her now. Come on, come on, praise, praise. Okay, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. High jump kick. No, live somehow, magically. Sun Shimmer dies. Suddenly, this is going really bad. It was the light screen, it was the light screen that 
Does it was the light screen. Floaty finished it off with Waterfall, and out came a Girafferry. Floaty gets off a big crunch, and it goes for Trick Room, making it so the slower Pokemon go first. I don't have the brain for this, dude. I decided to go with Turtle, who might go first now because of Trick Room. Turtle was still slower, ate a Psychic, but killed with the crunch. Now what? Alakazam? What do you do against an Alakazam? Trick Room! Crunch! Turtle slow for a reason, in the head. Lucian's own trick room tactic worked against him. Turtle outspeeds an Alakazam and one-shots it with Crunch. The last Pokemon is a Bronzong and Turtle easily beats it with Crunch. We have made it to the champion. We're down to four Pokemon against Cynthia's six. This is it. She's here. Anyone else just gonna shiver or was that just me? Together, you and your Pokemon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. The power you learned. I can feel it emanating from you. Oh my god. As the Pokemon League champion, I accept your challenge. Let's go. Holy shit. Oh my god, Queen! Oh, sorry, chill. All right, we're fine. The Spirit Tomb. We lead with Fate the Gardevoir. Fate hits it hard with a Moonblast, but it doesn't KO. And the Spirit Tomb heals with a Berry. It then Shadow Balls back for massive, super effective damage on Fate. But she lives. Moonblast can't miss, and Fate takes it out on the next turn. One threat down, Rose Ray. A poison move was definitely coming. It's faster, and we have no one to resist this. Cringe would have been perfect here. We had to decide who needed to be around for the Garchomp. Floaty and Lopani both could be faster, but I was not ready for Garchomp's actual speed stat. 102, bro! Floaty's needed for Garchomp. Fate dies? Fate has 70 HP. There's nothing she can do anymore. Poison move coming. We've got nothing for it. We had to sacrifice if we wanted to get this win. Fate's gone. We have three Pokemon at full HP. I think it's time for Lopunny. Here's where I started thinking full blast. Maybe two full blast. Roserade has pretty bad defenses and pretty low HP. I think we strength Lopunny, live a move, and two shot. Ice Beam is super effective, but this thing has double special defense than it does regular defense. All right, Waifu. How's your time? Strongest Pokemon in the game. Two shot, barely. Poison points. Energy ball. That could not have gone any worse for her. Getting poisoned by poison point, then crit by energy ball. The citrus berry she was holding saves her from dying to poison this turn, but this does not look good. I started doing some literal maths. There's no way Ice Beam does more damage. This Pokemon has 105 special defense. Ice Beam's damage is 90 times two because it's super effective, 180. Strength is 80 base damage times 1.5. That's 120 but it basically does double that damage because Roserade's defense is half her special defense. So strength would actually be more like 240. Is that how this game works? Is that how Pokemon works? For those who don't know, in Pokemon, a move could do a range of damage. The next one could do more. Otherwise, Ice Beam has a 10% chance to freeze. Lapani also had lower special attack than physical attack. After like 10 minutes of thinking, I went with my heart. I believe in the high roll. Come on, come on, high roll, high roll, high roll. Ah! Ah! We can crunch or we can ice fang. We're not done yet. Floaty comes in, prepared to ice fang this Rose Raid to death. Cynthia healed her Rose Raid and Floaty went for the ice fang. Super effective, the Rose Raid goes down. A Gastrodon comes out. That's four times weak to grass. It uses Rock Tomb as Turtle comes in, slowing him down a bit. I feel like we're gonna get Ice Beamed. We've spent this whole Nuzlocke avoiding Ice Beams for Turtle's sake. We can do this. Despite being slowed down by Rock Tomb, Turtle was still faster and one shot with Giga Drain. Turtle's faster than he looks. Oh my God. We're in it, we're in it, we're in it. Then out comes an absolute beast. Milotic. It's gonna Ice Beam! Milotic isn't the strongest Pokemon ever, but that's four times super effective. But if we get off a of Giga Drain, we can beat this thing. 
It is very slow, but there's one problem. The rock tomb from Gastrodon has slowed Turtle down. Floaty can't hurt it. Floaty can crunch. It'll do like one damage. We have to attack. We've got no choice. Turtle has critted like 10 times during this Elite Four. All we need him to do is go first and get a praise him crit. Turtle did live an Ice Fang from a Hippowdon with over half HP. If he does go second, he might live. We're going to get the crit because Turtle loves us. He was slower. Come on, we, we live, we live, we live. I gave him a C tier for design. I called him a nerd. And he took us this far. It's all up to Floaty now. Crunch. Floaty hits and does like 10% damage, but dodges a scold. Keep dodging. The Milotic is also taking extra damage from this flame orb. Floaty could do this with a bit of luck. She crunches again. Scold hits this time, doing like a third, but she gets the burn. With Floaty's weakened attack, she kept on trying, but it wasn't enough. The Milotic was untouchable. Another scold and some burn damage leaves Floaty at 69 HP. She just needs to dodge. Floaty crunches again, but it's not looking good. She barely survives another scold. It looks like it might cry. She survives on 3 HP. Floaty attacked with one last crunch with all her might. Do it, Floaty. Landed a crit, wishing to be praised. It doesn't work, Nurse Joy. It's a Nuzlocke. I came into this run not liking Turtwig at all, and how things have changed. But Ice Beam is everywhere, four times weak to Ice moves, but he smiles on. You'll have no Pokemon left to battle with you if you do that. True. Turtle the Turtwig so quickly became one of my favorite Pokemon, I actually can't even believe it. So there's some character development for you. We're doing this again, my brilliant Diamond Nuzlocke is coming very soon. And I have a lot of other Nuzlocke videos just like this one on the channel, so go, go check them out. And we're gonna try Legends Arceus Nuzlocke too. Go subscribe to Moxie2D VODs, that's where all my streams are. Links for everything are in the description. We're gonna go give Turtle a proper send-off now. I can't even let him out of the Pokeball. We will try this Nuzlocke again. We will win. For Turtle. Wait. There was no Mega Pokemon!